Hey, 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 welcome to Meet the Shoe. I'm Sade. I'm Nina. So, guys, last week we had technical difficulties. So, bear with us as we kind of try to revamp some things. And But today we're going to have a good discussion with you guys. Um, Danina, um, what were we talking about? The young man that was missing. So, was he missing or was he running away last? You know, from what we were talking about last time. And we come up with all the facts as the young man has come out and talked about what happened with him within them eight days of being on a missing report, you know, national children's missing report list. And he was on there for about eight years, girl, eight years. And I'm like, well, now was it because, was it because his parents didn't tell the public that he wasn't missing or did they forget like, what, did he run away at first? I'm confused about what initially happened for them to even call the police and tell the exactly. police that he was missing. So from, from what I'm gathering, he was missing somewhere around March 7th, 2015. I guess he ran away or okay. went off. He was going, he's going through uh, depression. He saw his brother die in a motorcycle accident. His friend, best friend died in front of him within months or a year you know he was pretty young at the time 17 okay. years old so he was going through yeah, emotional kind of mm -hmm. exactly okay. he was going through something and um he probably left and his mom report she did report he was missing for 24 hours she couldn't didn't know where he was so he ended up coming home march 8th the next day but she never called the police back and reported that he came back home she never did it the whole eight years so what she did was hid him. This young man said she hid him in the house for the, the total of eight years, said, do not come out the door. Don't answer the door to no one. Um, when family did come over, you know what I'm saying? He said he had to go hide in the room. And so question, did he receive, did, she, did, did the mother receive money? Or I'm why, why was sure. she, I, I, I'm trying to figure out why she would even do anything like that. Exactly. But when he's, all these questions led up to her sexually abusing him, abuse and sexual abuse. Oh, yes. Her so, own son. Yes. I don't know if he really, oh. he didn't explain that she touched him on TV. They blurred his face on, on Fox uh, 27. They blurred his face because he wanted to talk, but talk comfortably, but didn't want anybody, you know, seeing his face, you know, as he's 25 years old right now. And uh, she said, he said that his mother would say, come lay in the bed with me and pretend like you're my husband. And I'm like, yeah, this is a whole, I mean, it's crazy. And they yeah. have not charged the mother yet, as of yet, maybe with sexual abuse, but not have charged her with anything saying um, she reported a false, sent in a false report to the police department yet, as of yet. So we don't know what's going to happen with the mother, but I'm assuming he's been <laughs> removed from the house, you know, because he was in the hospital for a while. Uh, isn't that a shame? Yeah, when your mother's stupid. supposed to be like, your how are you sexually assault how are you sexually assaulting your child when there's so many men out here like what right. is the sickness going on in your brain that you would you know harm taint abuse and mess up your child's life for the rest of his life like that's just stupid i don't well, understand she did. he actually emotionally and mentally messed him up even by even disclosing and hiding him for all those years he didn't go to school he didn't do, you know, anything, anything to uh, further his mind and his mindset to be even around other people. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the home. Right. Oh, my God. It's I don't understand sad. that. Me either. Me either. So hopefully they keep him away from her and he's able to move on with his life. Um, they're hoping to get him into some kind of, you know, treatment or psych you know, psychiatric treatment, stuff like that. Cause he's going to need it. He's going to need it. I mean, imagine being locked in a room. So Not all these years he hasn't went. Cause the next door neighbor, now what was the next door neighbor's name? 
Okay. The next door neighbors, which were African American couple, said that he uh -huh. would come over and play with their son. I don't know how how old their son is, but he would play with their son in the garage. So when the, the reporters came, you know, to ask them questions, they're like, "Is that Rudy? You know, is that Rudy in the in the house?" He said, "Yes, that is Rudy. We know that's Rudy that's in that house." But the mother claimed it was a nephew. Oh, the her and the nephew, him, Rudy and the nephew look alike. They say, you know what I'm saying? So she was playing this to the hilt. I don't know what her her brain was. I mean, maybe she felt that that was her husband again. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. But the her people next to her is her husband. Now that's sick. It is that's sick. sick right there. It is sick. <laughs> but you know what? There is a lot of people out there like that. Because remember, I mentioned to you a young lady. Um, she was a little older than me, you know, in, in Shakopee. And she was saying that, you know, her bo a son, you know, 14, at the time he was 14 years old. And she's like, yeah, that's my son. And I wanted him to be. I wanted to be his first. I wanted to break his virginity. So her and her boyfriend was sexually molesting him for years. So the boyfriend I, and yes, the son and the and the mom was yeah. molesting her mm -hmm. own son. Her own son. That's it. And I, I'm a, uh, from what I read in reports that he ended up telling someone at the school. And that's how it got out, and she was being uh, able to be uh, prosecuted. You know, you know how childhood. much time did she get? Oh, she didn't get that much time. She didn't get a that much time. Dealer, a drug dealer gets more time than that. So I think she wow. got a, maybe an eight year, seven year sentence. And then where did the son go? Where did the son go? He ended up going into a foster care because I'm, I'm, I'm probably being abused home. again. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, but she did get out of jail. He was 14 at the time of her being incarcerated. Um, her son was 14. Mm -hmm. But you know okay, what? So he actually, Danina, he was used to it. He was accustomed. His mind was like and his mom having sex with him. Yes, because he still had. Oh, my God. Girl, he still had contact. Just... Look, uh, that's what I'm saying. He still had contact with his mother. He was writing her through some uh, somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because she was like, show me the last Like I'm just looking at her. Like she walked down a day day room talking about my son wrote me. My son wrote me. Like how did they let that happen? You know what I'm saying? He about 15, 16. Your son at the time. wrote you, and you're his abuser. That's so right. sick. But the the bad part oh, about it, she goodness. was released from prison. Had contact with him, but she ended up coming back for violating being around him. So I'm yeah, assuming she still had, she still was abusing him. Yes, and mm -hmm. as an adult, he didn't know that that was. I don't know. That's so sad. It's sad it that you know the person that he looked for nurturing was yes. abusing him. Mm -hmm. And some people feel that's okay because there is a lot of incest goals that goes on in different families. You know what I'm saying? When you look yeah, back they're, at they're, 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 it, and they talk about it. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't imagine. Thank God for my mom. That would be yes. Uh, mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, like, my mother made no sure way. nobody touched us. At baby back. No. Yeah, that's one thing. Sickening. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know what what a person, regardless of what they went through in their life, that could psychologically think their child that they bear that they should abuse mm -hmm. physically, mentally, or sexually. That shit's right. sick. It I, is. That's it. Really is. Man. But you know what? I'm thinking she went through the same thing with her father from remembering back in that case yeah there's no that's no excuse right it, it is it's there's not no such thing no. As to your own child hurt people hurt people no that's 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 whack that's an excuse that's a lame mm -hmm. mm, all it of is. it is dirty and devilish it is like, it really no, is no excuse for it. and 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 a lot of times i get tired of society pampering blanketing excusing abusers of any kind yeah 
of any yeah. kind. I can't even say, especially which one, whether it's mental, sexual, or physical. All of right. it's wrong. Like it is know, wrong. Ain't Most no, definitely. Ain't no, and and eight years is re- <laughs> that ain't that's, 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 not that's a, a joke. Cause she only did what four, four, three, four years. You know what I'm saying? So the severity level of you okay. sexually messing with somebody's mind, I guess, is not that. The war on drugs is they claim is worse. Well, so, I pray, I, I I pray for him mm-hmm. that you know he doesn't do it to his children, mm-hmm. and that he doesn't do it to nobody else's children. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So we're going to go move on into affirmative action. So, Danina, when I read about f- affirmative action, it was it's supposed uh-huh. to be positive action or uh, let's say positive discrimination. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. <laughs> the president. Uh, is there a uh, such thing as a positive discrimination? Right. I, I don't know <laughs> the definition of, you know. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's sad. But it was implemented due to uh, the civil rights movement, you know, when Martin Luther King was assassinated. Um, you know, Black people. When who was assassinated? Martin Luther King. Okay. Black people, you know, rioted. They 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 marched. They, they did everything. And it went, it was all over the South, you know, so for um, the legislature or the mayors and everybody got together saying we need to do something for the black community. And we're going to okay. add affirmative action because so they could feel wanted in the communities. So they could feel needed in different higher uh, positions and jo- at jobs and in schools. So um, that's what they implemented. So a lot of people, you know, Affirm- yeah. okay. So it's saying that uh, affirmative action is is numbers oriented, aimed mm-hmm. at changing the demographic within the organization. Managing diversity mm-hmm. is behavioral, aimed at changing the organizational culture and developing skills policies that get the best for everyone. Right. Making it even, an even uh, playing field, level playing field for black and white people to like go to Harvard, you know what I'm saying? Go to Yale, okay. Princeton, you know what I'm saying? Because there were no black people at the time in them, those universities. So um, Joy Reid said affirmative action actually was good for her. It, they came out and sought her out at the high school she was at and she ended up going to Harvard, I, th- I think it was Harvard or Yale. I can't remember which university, but she did graduate and she's doing well. She's uh-huh. on TV, CNN, and uh, she's a great reporter, you know, in her own right. So, and then some people said for, they don't they don't care about affirmative action because affirmative action didn't do anything for them. What you think? I think that um, it says states that um, companies. Um, use affirmative action um you must develop an affir- affirmative action program within a corporation right mm-hmm. um if you have 50 or more employees and at least one contract of 50,000 or more under executive order uh 11246 section 503 mm-hmm. um for Re- rehabilitations act of 1973 okay so that's what corporations had to go by that's what they were structured by when they had um 50 or more employees up under their business right they had to have they had to have um black and latino uh people working or you know some type of minority within their company so Um, you didn't say they didn't give a number because okay 50 percent. so if it's 50 employees it says it says a team it says a team of employees that has a member of specific ethnicity is 150 percent likelier to understand a client of that and an ethnicity 
Okay. Right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So they were they would have people of other um cultures or races there to deal with, mm -hmm. you know, under management to deal with the people that were of that same or similar ethnicity. Oh, okay. Okay, when it came to yeah. um hiring minorities. Mm -hmm. They would try to get someone of that same or similar culture to deal right. with whatever issues or problems within the, you know, corporation or company. Right. They have to hire someone to deal with that. They they want someone to speak the same language, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh I guess beyond that same level so they wouldn't get sued. Yes, right. That's what it's all about. It's a numbers game. When they say it's a numbers game, yeah. Affirmative action is a numbers game. It definitely is because it just prevents you from prevents the co corporations and companies from lawsuits. Yes. That's all. Uh huh. Okay. Because yes, yeah, that, so that 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 I wouldn't say that um it's always a benefit, right? Because mm -hmm. you have different people, um normally white people that feel like it's unfair. Mm -hmm. They would feel it's unfair because they're privileged, right? <clears throat> yes. They get the job regardless. They walk right up in, could be dumb as a box of rocks, and they will yep. get the job just because of their color. Yeah. Any other culture would have to prove a whole resume, have a long line of a, of a resume. Yes. And could really put the company up, you know, excel the company. It don't matter if at that right. time... They want to help the white person. They're going to help the white person over Be us over you. at any moment. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why yeah. the affirmative action was put in place. We just going to mm -hmm. lay it on the line. Right. So also, though, I, the, um, white Americans will get mad if their resume fits the description of what the job is calling for. And right. then a black person a Latino person to come in and their um, resume will fit the description. Mm -hmm. If at the time the company needs to meet the quota for the minority, even with the white person having the same credentials or mm -hmm. better than the minority, the, mi the minority gets the job over the white person because right. the company had to meet a quota. Mm -hmm. So, it's all, you know, like we're saying, it's all a numbers game. It is. It, it isn't fair. Life isn't fair. Um, no. Minorities definitely know what fair feels like. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I can't speak for anyone of Caucasian descent because I'm not. Yeah. We're, and right. we're not. They, yeah. they, they are and have for the duration of centuries. Mm -hmm. Being privileged, put in positions, don't deserve the position, mm -hmm. don't have to fight a lick or say right. anything to get mm -hmm. anywhere, right. they're going to get there just exactly. because of what they look like. You're and right. the reason why we might get in a position is because of what we look like. So. I think that by taking away the affirmative action is going to make it um, 10 times harder for us. Yeah. So really that's, gonna... when, that's when I feel they should, that question they always ask on applications, are you black, white, Asian Pacific, Latino, or non-Hispanic should be taken off the application, eliminated off the application process. Just, you just I need agree. to know my name and where I live and what I'm applying for. Mm -hmm. And we go from there. Right. Right. Let's do that, America. <laughs> Let <I'm>... it happen. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, because ultimate, ultimately, um, it boils down to um, what America decides for it to be. Um, the Americans um, obviously been pushing to eliminate affirmative action under our nose for it to make it to the Supreme Court oh, and for them to decide to uh, to to let it go, right? Girl, the country yes. is the country is more behind than it was when in 1973. Yeah, but you know what? Some of them people that's on the 
uh, Supreme Court justice. They was there in 1970. Right, there. exactly. Get rid of them old coons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they too old. Yeah, it's 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 old. It's tired. It's washed up. And mm-hmm. the new generation is only when it comes to racism is being taught that. Right now they have an art of more change. But they're just yeah. a little more bolder. Oh, you yeah. Know, in the past, yeah. no one was bold enough to go up on the president's stairs and start no drama. Oh, Nobody's man. bold enough to go up into the, the presidential uh, offices and have right. cocaine. Look oh, at all girl. The things that's happening. Now, now well, what they're is having your... cocaine up in there? So, who had cocaine? Have cocaine never find that? That? <laughs> no. Huh? So wait no, a minute, it, was no. it cocaine powder? It was on the West or... Wing. I don't know which one it was, but the the they said cocaine and they said it was on the West Wing. So who's all on the West Wing? They'll the they'll West narrow West. it down to it. We don't know if it was a plant. We don't know if this is a distraction, America. Yeah. We don't know exactly what it is, but the fact that they're bringing it to our attention. That it was there, right? Is 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 done to distract for a reason for you not to pay attention to it. Yes, yes, exactly. I seen. I, seen, I also seen reports yesterday that Australia is full on digital, right? That they're going digital to the point where they're going to have to ask to spend what's in the bank account. They're going to have to, um, they can't make no moves without the government, period. There's no oh free will God. of anything. So so, so just for the fact that there was drugs inside of the White House, what is that distraction? Are you trying to cloud us as well? Or it started the same out the, the, the guy was taking out, the cash app man was taken out completely. Exactly. And now they're talking about their friend to start something called Fed Now. Fed now, There's yes. So many things within the banking system. It's That's so why good. you see so many loans pushed at us, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because they're trying to weed out the poor. Yeah. But how is the rich gonna survive? You only survive off of the poor. It yes, makes no exactly. sense. It makes you only no survive sense. if we spend money. If we're spending also, money. Also, Putin, right? Mm-hmm. Putin has been praised. Because he's given the Russians over there the opportunity to develop all natural organic foods. He said no fake food. No fake food. They, they, you, you, you can't have no geometric nothing over there. But we now got look at, look, right at, look at how look at how the West Western atmosphere is. Everybody's sick, mm-hmm. taking some type of medication. Yes. The yep. banking system is going down. You want to keep us poor, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The economy and the population is so polluted. Yes. And then they're constantly putting all this, uh, uh, what is it, in the air? The, the, the oh, pop- pollutants. The, pollutants. When you, like, you, notice, you notice when you're driving, the smoke. they say the air traffic is, is, is down. Yes. You see the fog coming through the sky. Yes. Constantly, especially when I was in Detroit mm-hmm. and over um closer to Canada, you see you all it. of it. It's just the pollution of the of did you the feel air. did you feel kind of sick about it? Because yeah. at times when I know that the air is really Coughing. thick, Coughing. my head started hurting really bad. My head Coughing. hurting real bad. <laughs> I had a headache. Actually, I had a headache for the last three days. Yeah. My blood pressure was sky high. I wasn't eating. I wasn't overeating any salt. Right. I didn't have a bunch of sweets. I was drinking lots of water. I didn't mm-hmm. understand that. It right. made me scared. Like, what? what's going on? So mm-hmm. all these things are happening for no reason. Why okay. they want us to die off so so fast and, 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 and for other countries to come over? Girl. It's so safer overseas, it seems, it's, than it's- it is. Yes, in the United States. Yes, my mother. Why is would, why, why would Russia? 
Right. Why would Russia, of mm. all places that the United States has said is so bad, right? Mm. Why would they eliminate GMO? Right. That that no, they said all organic is illegal for them to process or produce any kind of anything GMO but you in know what? Russia. They've probably been doing that low key. They just now announcing it. They probably been getting rid of that bad food. Now he's really announcing yeah. it. Yeah. And making it known so that everybody yeah, can be like, because- oh, look what they're doing. The US is messed up. Look at what they're doing in Russia. Right. <sighs> it's for a reason. Mm-hmm. It's for a reason. And it's it's like okay we could stay up on all of this that's another mm-hmm. thing too the news will constantly keep us informed with all these bad things right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's really to 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 distract you and taint your mind it so is. you can live a miserable life right mm-hmm. there's no there's no escaping it oh, even if you go up in so now they have TVs all in the restaurants now so they yeah. put the news on on all the in the restaurants and everything. Big screen, mm-hmm. um, flat screens. It's outside. You see people yes. on the bus stop. The bus stop people don't even miss the news. Exactly. All of that is done for a reason for you to live miserable. Because because guess what? We're not in government. We don't have any control over anything. Mm-hmm. If they brought us to bring, you know, bombs or you know, fi- you know, fights and all of that. Yes. We can't. We can't escape that. No. We they're, can't. they're coming up in your house. Right, exactly. And so, everyone's like, oh, well, who's going to bring, who, you, you, you can pick who's going to go in the office. You can't pick who's going to no, go you in can't. the office. No, you That's can't. That's a joke. And yes, you can barely is. even, you can't even pick the president. You see how that's Hello? rigged and tricked? That's very rigged. They showed that a couple of presidencies ago. <laughs> couple of presidencies. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, it's all God. agenda. Their agenda. Yes, it is on, on on their terms. We want to thank you guys for tuning in with us, and yep. please support, support our sponsors, Cashmere Lux Hair Products, and the link is below. You got Lena Beans Organic um, but Body Butter and Boss Up Beauty. So hit us up, and we're gonna say good evening. See you guys later. Sorry for the interruption.